eMotion was a collaboration between uh, the communities of the Western Belt um, through our good friends at Barclay Arts Centre and the Dig Deep program here at Arts Centre Melbourne. In my eyes it was a pilot project because artistically on there was a lot of challenges I think and, and new grounds that we were um, wanting to explore. Like even though it was the western suburbs there was young people from Ballarat all the way to you know Footscray that kind of area so it's really quite a massive geographical area as well as just even their cultural background is so diverse. Emotion really uh, allowed a group of young people, in particular our young leaders, Faustin, Prince, Fina and Mary, to really step up and take on a leadership ownership role. Teaching for emotion kind of gave me the opportunity, or, well the experience to teach different age groups and different communities, which was something that I've always wanted to do. I motivated the young ones and I made them feel like, I made them feel welcome, so I did I make them feel like, you know, it's cool to be themselves. Actually seeing it come together at the end was, um, was really deeply satisfying for me. I really understood it and saw the value in what we were doing. I've never come out of a project like this and learnt so much in that space of time. I feel like I've grown heaps as an artist. It made me feel good, like, made me feel like I'm part of a community for the first time, you know, like, I'm bringing all the communities together and the building one family. The diversity within the whole group was just beneficial for everybody because it doesn't matter whether it's dance related or, I mean, there's so many aspects to the project. Um, there were so many opportunities to learn from each other. Some dancers like who did jazz and stuff, and I personally don't do jazz. And um, it was really hard at first to connect with them. For some reason, they made me love jazz now. <laughs> when we finished that, um, the actual shows and we came back to the room, hearing people talk on their experience like directly in that moment it was just so powerful. And I think that for me was a really important moment where I. I connected the the face-to-face -face contact, the Facebook contact, everything kind of crystallised where for a young person to say thanks, thank you to this community for accepting me and not judging me, that's amazing. No one really knew what to expect but it was like such a good vibe and everyone was happy. It was pretty amazing out there, everyone watching us. I don't know, going out there and just seeing everybody's eyes on you. It yeah. just gives you more adrenaline to give them what you, like, all you got. And when we do it, it gives us, like, energy to know who we are. Everyone sort of made friends. Didn't bully anyone, make fun of everyone. It was like a, like, a big family. We all got, like, connected. Yeah, I'm proud of myself. Like, I don't usually say that, but today it just gave me the biggest confidence boost and I'm really proud of myself. I think I remember everyone supporting everyone when they go in, doing what they love. It was really overwhelming and there was a lot of tears by the end of it and it was one of those experiences that I'll, I'll never forget and I know that for a lot of the young people involved, like re really has changed their life. I'd like to thank all the young people who took part in this amazing project. Um, thanks for trusting us and uh, working with us to get us all on board and doing such an amazing job with the performance. Uh, big up to Mary Q and Liz Gab and all the rest of the crew um, from Barclay Arts Centre who were the most amazing partners to work with and uh, here's to cranking it up a notch.